everyone and welcome to the last vlog of 2023. I'm currently sat in the car as you can tell. I've got a hot chocolate from Starbucks and I'm outside Bonnie's groomers. She is having a haircut for Christmas and then she gets one more before we leave. I'm just waiting for her to be finished so I thought I'd start this vlog. Today we're going to do a bit of a car chat and home vlog hybrid. So I'm going to take you to the garden centre. I want to pick up and look at any nice little bits and bobs I can get for family. It has been the busiest November and December ever. I think since I went to London for World Travel Market, I haven't really stopped at all, even maybe before that too. I should also say it's obviously raining. I don't know if you can hear or see it, but it is absolutely chucking with rain. Sometimes I quite like the sound of the rain in the background, but I don't know if it's too loud. Sorry if it is, but here we are. Yeah, I've not really stopped for weeks. Like every day I've had something in my diary, whether it's been a meeting, a commitment, editing, filming, a brand deal, a speaking opportunity, uh, an event. The amount of times I've been in London or Brighton, or we did the staycation in the tree house, we did the Hobbit house staycation. We've been back to back to back with things and it's been amazing, but I am at that point where I am so low of my battery, my social battery, my creative battery, like I don't feel like I have much left in me. I feel like I've done so much and I feel really proud of my channel this year, like looking back at all the content I made and how well the videos have been doing. You guys have really loved Cruise and Disney as always, but the home vlogs and the little staycations and everything in between. Some of you come for those sort of biggie series we do and then stay for everything else and I really appreciate that. So hello, welcome and thank you if you're new or if you have been here for years, I do really appreciate it and I just want to take this time and say thank you so much for all your continued support, love and for subscribing and being here with me. I would say that this has probably been my most successful year in my career. I felt very supported by lots of my regular brands. I've had some really great campaigns. I've worked a lot with YouTube, done some events with them and of course my continued partnership with Piano Cruises and Big Potato Games as an ambassador and announcing my girl guiding Southwest of England ambassadorship as well. Well, so it's been a really amazing year for me creatively having a manager now I've signed to my management in February so that's been great and of course I hit 100k so it's been special really special but personal wise I feel like we've also had a great year obviously we started the year with Benji's open heart surgery that was on my birthday in March we obviously had to navigate that for a little while but also Benji's recovery period as well after and then having this weird in-between phase of him being at home and supporting me because I need the help more than ever. We're obviously leaving to go off and get married and go traveling really soon. So we've got all this time together right now, which we never take for granted. Yesterday we went on the most gorgeous forest dog walk with Bonnie. It was so quiet because it was a Monday morning, which I never normally say, hey, let's come on, let's go out and go on a really nice long dog walk somewhere. We normally just do, you know, around the block or the local park. But I had a little bit of time yesterday morning and I ended up working late instead. And it was so nice to have that. And we both said on the walk, like, how nice is this? And we kind of used the walk as a little like, Brogan Tate work week chat. So we talked about like what's coming up, what we need to do, delegating some things for him, what is important for the next step for the cruise planning. It's been just so many things to think about, but mostly I just, yeah, it's been a good, it's been a good year and we've been reflecting on that. We are gonna sort out Christmas presents today. We're going to our first family Christmas gathering at the weekend, so we really need to get organized. It's also Benji's grandma's 80th birthday this Saturday and we're having a nice meal for her so we need to get her birthday present sorted but also not just organizing for Christmas I've started to think about organizing while we're away because we leave February and we don't come home until middle of April I'm gonna be missing things like Mother's Day times two Benji's dad's birthday my manager is pregnant and due in March when I'm gonna be away so I want to get something organized for her now so that my mum can ship it for me when the baby's here there's a few things that I've had to think about I feel like our to-do list and pa packing and planning has been so big I actually have started planning out January so I have a call with my coach Laura this week so although this is my last filming. I'll edit this. I've got lots of short form I'm going to be focusing on. And I'm hoping to finish around the 22nd of December. But I'll still be posting stuff here and there. And then I go back to work on the 2nd of January. I know it's ridiculously British of me to talk about the weather. But sunshine! Yeah, I'll take that. 
bit of sun. But I am still waiting for Bonnie and I've been there for ages now. I got her point was at quarter to ten. It's twenty to eleven. She's been nearly an hour. She must have needed a good card. So this is our Christmas list with all the names and the things that we started buying for people. And these are some of the gifts. So we're basically digging it all out, taking price tags off and allocating gifts to people because we buy things as we go along, you know, like when we see them, we saw these toys for Benji's mum's dogs when we went being cute of all places. Yeah, so cute. yeah, we've got lots of things going on in here. I always pick up like things like this, Christmas cards that are <laughs> really good prizes when I'm in places like Home Bargains and stuff. Uh, I haven't got all the cards yet, but there's a few of them there. Bonnie's like, what's going on? Where's my gifts? We've done well this year, haven't we? We've been buying things sporadically throughout the year. And... When we see things for someone. So like, for example, we've got a little girl we buy for and we saw this for her in TK Maxx. Year, like ages ago, months ago. It's always like the, the, the men in my family that we always struggle with, the isn't men, it? The men, the uncle, your dad, your granddad. Your dad we've started. Yeah. We bought him a, one gift ages my ago. My dad loves TK Maxx. He does. He doesn't go clothes shopping, but anyway, we go once a year, we go to TK Maxx and that's him done for the year. So we get him a voucher there. Yeah. Obviously we bought this in the Disney store for the little boy that we buy for that has a love for cars. Really cool, isn't he? And they light up, it's really cool. So obviously we got a cars we had to get the Disney cars because yeah. he loves cars. He has like a whole set. We're going to go to the garden centre. It's called Haskins. And we're going to have lunch there. And then we're going to probably pop to like TK Maxx, Home Bargains and get some more gift bags. We only seem to have one. Mm -hmm. We have wrapping. We have also a jack potato. Oh yeah, we'll get a jack Big, potato. chunky jack potato. This weather is horrible again. What is going on today? Right, here's the entrance. Oh, I love a garden centre at Christmas. This is so exciting. I have so many like childhood memories, do you? But we do get easily distracted. This is my kind of decor. The white and the gold. There's some lovely decorations. Look at that. It's so simple, but... Yeah, live and laugh ones as well. Of course you were going to say that. Live, laugh, love. Bench, I think before we get too distracted, we should go and have some lunch. Okay, yeah. And then come back because we don't want to be... Some browsing. Yeah. Where's the... My I was going to say, where is it? This is my... They normally have a big set. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, this is so cute. Don't you just want to yeah. create your own... It's like the Disney... It does, doesn't it? it? The like, train station. Yeah. Oh, I love that. One day, I think we should create a little home. <gasps> oh, it's like a big gingy that Bonnie loves. Oh, it's not a dog toy, sadly. If you know, you know. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Bread, muffins, pies. Lucy's chocolate shop. Oh, Prince of Wales pub, that's so sweet. And look at the detail, like inside, there's people in there, look, skiing. Look, it's a ski chalet area. Look, you see they're getting their, their skis. Oh, I really love that one. Oh, look at that one, Ben, Santa's workshop. And this one's all like elf made. Oh. Oh, look at this little train on this one. And oh, the and the reindeers, Santa. Love it. Okay, yeah, this is definitely my favorite part of the garden centre. Santa claws and paws. Oh, let us know which one you like the best. I do really like these personalized gingerbread decorations. We buy some things like this for the kids in our lives because they're just so cute, but they don't always have the names, obviously. Let's go, they've got an amazing restaurant in here. Oh, wow, look at those massive popcorn boxes. <laughs> oh, look at the little dog. Hello. Oh, samples. And here is the cafe. So we normally get jack of potatoes, but they also do the most incredible cakes. Look at these. Hello. Do you want to share a cake today or not today? Right, here's our lunch. Cold Diet Coke in a bottle. Lush. And then, which one's bigger for you? <laughs> Cheese and beans. I think it's fair to say we enjoyed that. Down. Clean plates. Diet Coke in a glass. Top tier. It just hits different, doesn't I, it? I don't know if it actually tastes different, what the science is, but it, it tastes it's better good. than any other drink. You know when it's initially just very fizzy though? Yeah. I, I like my fizzy drinks just like settled a bit, when they're just a bit too fizzy. Yeah. <laughs> I can't really take it around with me either to this glass, so. I really love it in here. This is where we bring my grandma as well. We've had many meals with her. Just such a nice cafe. Lovely. Right, back to Christmas shopping. And the first section here is all food and drink, which could be a good option for the men. Everyone likes to eat and drink, don't they? <laughs> they do, though. You can't really go too wrong. So I think we'll have a little rummage through here, see if there's anything that we know 
they individually like. I was saying to Benj that I know sometimes you pay a little bit of a premium in a garden centre, but what I really like is they have a lot of local things. So this is Lime Bay Winery. We've been to Lime Bay, haven't we? We it have. Was one of our first trips to the, I went to it, wasn't it? It was one of our first yeah, trips. It was on my birthday. We've got a vlog on that actually. Mm -hmm. And actually over here, let me show you. They've got some festive beers, Bench. I don't know if you want to get your dad any. They do have some nice crisps too. I don't know for us. Pigs and blankets, turkey and, turkey and stuffing. All locally produced in the south of England, which I really like. They've got some nice things. Like I love a tea tin. Just such a nice little thing. Then you can reuse that, can't you, for loads of stuff. Oh, look, they've got nice local honeys. You can't go too wrong with something like that. Oh, brandy snaps. These are your favourite things at Christmas. Now, listen, I will say that's Fox's. Right. Home bargies for something like that. Yeah, are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Well, how much are they in here? £3. Oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, oh. All we went to will be sniffed, next, stared at, slobbered, slobbered on and loved. You have been warned. You have a dog. I'm not sure how I feel about all these signs. Well, it would be a bit weird if you got that and you didn't have a dog. <laughs> Sorry, my son might lick you, <laughs> sniff you. Slobber on you. Slobber on you. <laughs> Um, I have reached a point where I'm just not sure where to go anymore because there's a lot of choice which is good but also I feel like we've bought some really great things in the past and we always try and like get like better things each year or something we haven't done that we know they'll love. Look how lovely this is to shop around, there's so much. And then obviously it's an actual garden centre too but love it. We're just looking at puzzles and games and they've got some big potato ones at the top there. We spot them from a mile off don't we? Chicken versus hot dog, <laughs> colour brain. Although I will say if you order them on the website, you get my discount, just saying. Mm -hmm. Don't get got, that's big potato, but party sounds good. fishy. And her mentality, we actually took this to our friend's house to play it. They never played before and they loved it. They ordered it immediately when we were sat there at the table. I'm still obsessed with jelly cat Christmas things. Look, that one's so cute, the little pudding. Bonnie would whip that off the tree in a second. I mean, maybe, so yeah, but... Decks on the tree for me. <laughs> she doesn't actually. She, only if you give her something, she takes it. I love the little snowman. And they have a little avocado with little, um, what are these called? Ear. Oh my gosh, I've lost it. Bench. What are these called? Ear muffs. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> Ear muffs. Yeah. Do you have a little, like. Yeah, I had a brain fart brain. moment. Where's the face on this? Oh, there. He's in there. Oh, Bench. She would love that. She would love that. Oh look, there's a girl one too. Look, oh look, you can have one each. Look, that's <laughs> so cute. When you're not sure what level to buy for, they have different age ages on the books. I think that's so sweet and clever. So far, we've mastered one present. Would you like to show the one present? Oh, okay. He's just. It's puzzles and brain teasers for gardeners because Benji's granddad loves gardening. We thought this could be quite good to do over Christmas. Oh, that's a fly. There you go. <laughs> one now. Oh my gosh. Oh, they even have 10 bowling bowling bench. This is another big potato. It's brand new, isn't it? It is brand new. It wasn't our most successful trip. We bought two gift vouchers because we figured that Benji's granddad loves gardening so he can come by whatever he and needs. I wouldn't have a clue what he'd actually need. For his garden. But we got oh, in the garden also book. They come for um, like afternoon teas and that as well. So Yeah, that's true. They can buy it. They can spend it in the cafe too. I got a couple of little decorations for friends that have kids with names um kids with names you know what i mean yeah I, most of our kids have names <laughs> there's names on the kids decorations and now we're gonna have to go somewhere else castle point let's go to tk maxx i think but anyway it's not raining anymore what is up with this weather next stop is tk maxx and next door is a home bargains which we need so we're gonna do both of these i always like to look at all the gift sets just in case there's anything for my girlfriends i'm not seeing anything standing out to me benji's gone off to look for men's stuff and I'm just having a little browse. They have Disney dog treats. I mean, I feel like our Bonnie girl needs those, no? Okay, so we got some of these for some of my girlfriends because who doesn't use and like makeup sponges? And I have these and they're really good. And I have a friend that travels a lot, so I thought that'd be quite good for her. So I got two of those. And then we also got all the dog treats and we found one of those sort of mug warmer sets. Maybe I'll show you when we get home when we wrap it. So that's everything we got. I would say we were somewhat successful in there. Yeah. Got another voucher for Benji's dad. Two things for my friends. One thing for your uncle. We always struggle with, don't we? And I think that's a really cool gift. I'd like that if I if I work from an office. He works from home and it's a mug warmer set, so it keeps your mug, your tea or hot drink hot on like a little hot plate thing. It was cool, it's a nice little yeah. gift. Um, I think he'll love that. So that's that. Now we're going to home bargains. The holy grail. 
to get gift bags is what we need next. My friend has had a baby this year and how adorable is this gift set? Five piece set, my first Christmas. Obsessed, I love it. So I'm gonna get her that. Look, Mickey Mouse tissue paper. That's sweet. It's going in. That's the most boring one. Look, they've got Chris, they've got Disney ones. It's, it's just a vehicle to get it from one place to another. I don't like it. Can we not, at least the magical Christmas one's a bit nicer. Well, that little tartan one's quite nice. Our basket is full of cleaning stuff, Christmas bags, and other rogue things. I just actually found these. My mum has said that these are apparently amazing. Let me know if any of you have tried these. Bruschetta bite things. Oh, you want to get those? Yeah. Oh, cute. Oh, look how much Disney stuff there is. Oh, why do I love it? Oh, look, there's a decoration. That's actually so cute. It's only £2.50. It's horrifying. Oh, okay. Maybe not then. I think that's lovely. We already have many Mickey Disney decorations. 3D shaped. <laughs> it's only £2.50 for what you get. It's quite big, guys. Look, come on. Someone be with me. That's quite cute. I will say that does look like the aubergine emoji, though, which I'm not, <laughs> I'm not here for. Getting a bag of these for Christmas time. Absolutely love them. Oh, actually, they do the little six pack. I might take those for the plane for us. These are insane. He loves these. I cannot explain to you how good these are. Bruschetta yeah. dried crackery biscuit things. No, it's like little Whatever. nubs of like, you know, it's at like the end of a French stick, like constantly. Garlic and herbs. Right, you throw they them in then. Freak, but they are so Lovely, lucky me. They're so cute. Little that platters. So cool. we have a little... That one's so good because you can put your cookies out for Santa. A little chips and dips tray as well. Yeah, there. like that. All the jingle ladies. All the jingle ladies. Put your hands up. <laughs> I've got the Christmas tree lights on and some washing. I don't normally wrap presents in here, but I think this surface area flat on the floor is best for my wrapping paper. And I'll be honest, I didn't realize we only had two rolls of wrapping paper in this ginormous wrapping bag. I'm sure we had a lot more than that. So don't know how far that's gonna go, but we'll see. Got all the bags down there as well. It has been three hours and I think I've pretty much finished. I need to obviously tidy up a bit, but yeah, everyone's gifts are there. Benji made me a little drink. Just sort of show you <laughs> how it ended up. So tidying up and then I also have gifts up here to send to friends as well. It feels like a huge weight off my shoulders now that that's done. It's like one of those massive tick list things. Benji's grandma is turning 80 on Saturday. So I just need to switch to some birthday wrapping and find a way to put her birthday presents together yeah we're, we're there which is so exciting i don't think i have too much more to do i've got a couple of uh, cards to buy but looking at my spreadsheet i'm very happy finished i've got a few cards to sort out so i've got a basket over there for that these are the gifts i need to actually post all of the wrapping spare bits and bobs is in that basket bag thing from ikea and yeah pretty much finished i had to change out my fluffy jumper because i was too hot no yeah it was that warm is in the such house. a sickener i know but it has been cozy i've got a scrunchie up in my hair and i'm going to edit this video and you're going to make dinner but it's like inception you've started editing the video before you've even finished filming the video <laughs> i have i started I've my little mind yeah because i want to get ahead so that i can crack on with some short form videos i'm going to make i want to do some like favorites shorts like favorite beauty or books i've read stuff like that so i'm going to put those in short form version on yes. shorts and reels that's something that's easy to consume yeah in quick bites isn't it yeah but uh it's been so nice to reflect today and just have a think about our year we've been chatting, chatting about it as we've driven around and gone on walks and things so i we went on that lovely dog walk yesterday and talked about it didn't we and that our wedding is just coming around so fast it's now less than two months until we fly which is crazy. On Christmas Eve, it'll be two months until our wedding day, and it'll be nine months since my surgery. That's which is crazy, wild, isn't it? yeah. I actually, in the gym the other day, I was on the bike and actually re watched my surgery video, mm -hmm. and it, oh, it made me quite emotional, like just thinking about like what we've done and been through and achieved this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's been amazing, really. We've had a very good considering year. Considering how down last year was for me, it, with the not having the surgery and the worry, then this year, I was worried that it would be just a write-off with recovering and, mm -hmm. well, yeah, recovery, really. And we've, I feel like we've nailed, we've nailed it. 
we've had a great year yeah it's been amazing we've been sort of navigating working together being together 24 7 and thinking oh, about, about working together when's our christmas party we went to the Christmas markets. I took you to the tree house. Oh, man, look at me and Bonnie and my other colleague and have a chat about this subpar sub sub Christmas party this year. No, it's been wonderful. It has yeah. been really wonderful. We just wanted to take this time to say thank you so much for supporting us and the vlogs and being here with us. And um, again, I think we've made some really good videos. Mm. We personally, as I equally. You're in all of them, videos. obviously. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we've had some really good brand deals as well that we're mm -hmm. really proud of and that we genuinely use, still use. I've used before and will continue to use. I, I, I'm really proud of what we've done and where the channel's gone. Me too, me too. I think on that note, we will love and leave you. We'll be back on the 8th of January with a home vlog. Nice. So we'll see you then. Over the next couple of weeks, we're doing lots of wedding and cruise planning. We're prepping January. We're getting the suitcase ready to take to the ship. We're going to be filming all that for you. It's going to be really great. When January comes around, there's going to be so much content for you to consume. So 2024 is our year. <laughs> it is our year. So although we'll be gone for a couple of weeks, there's so much for you to catch up with if you haven't already. And thank you again so much. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Ready? The countdown is on till we get married. Wait. <laughs> and we'll see you again in the next one. See you Bye. later. Bye. <laughs> oh, oh, I messed that one up. Oh. I should stick that in. <laughs>